When the first generation Subaru 15 Cross Strike launched a few years ago, I was skeptical that more ground clearance and fender flares is all it would take to get more buyers but sell it has according to Subaru representatives, it's the company's third best selling line, and is second in the country for compact and subcompact crossover sales. First is the Jeep Renegade, most Cross Strike sales are in America, 60% of them so if lifting an Impreza can yield such impressive sales results, it's no surprise that Subaru kept the formula the same for the new Cross Strike. The end product is served well by all the improvements to the new generation Impreza, while equally hampered by its issues one of the few ways the cross strike is distinct from the Impreza is on the outside though the main body is the same, the front and rear bumpers are a little chunkier, and the front grille is different it also features the tried and through addition of black plastic fender flares to signal its crossover and dirt road intentions every cross strike comes standard with roof rails and alloy wheels with a machine finish and black painted accents. Those wheels are available in either 17 or 18 inch varieties the body sits atop a raised suspension that brings ground clearance up to an impressive 8.7 inches over the Impreza's 5.1 inches that also matches the Jeep Renegade Trailhawk for clearance the cross strike fresh bod is propelled by the same 2.0 liter flat 4 as the Impreza, which, at 152 horsepower, makes 4 more ponies than the old engine port remains the same at 145 pound feet. The engine, which Subaru says is 80% new, is much less coarse and clattering than its predecessor, letting more of a pleasant boxer engine's rumbling noises through you'll likely hear those noises plenty, because you'll need to work the car hard to get anywhere just as we found in the Impreza, what power the engine makes is all high in the rear band and even when you're in the meat of it, it still takes an agonizingly long time to get up to speed.